uomo sia venuto da lì! What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here, and this is Sniper Elite 3. So this is my first entry into this series. I never checked out Sniper Elite or Sniper Elite V2, uh, and I picked it up for the PlayStation 4, and I gotta tell you, I'm having a really great time with this. So I was actually really worried about buying this game. I had seen some stuff online, uh, some trailers and some gameplay demos that really looked interesting to me. Kind of the sneaking around, using your sniper rifle, spotting guys, and it looked almost like this big open world, but it was really hard to determine what the game was. So when the game came out, I was reading some reviews and they were all over the map. I mean, I saw scores as low as 3% or 30%, as high as perfect scores. And, you know, that's not helpful. <laughs> so I really wanted to check it out. You know, it's a $50 game. It's not a full price game, which is, you know, nice, but also a little bit worrisome because you're not real sure what the quality is going to be. So I decided to make a little video after playing it for a bit and kind of let you guys know what my findings were. So the first thing I want to say about this game is it's a lot of fun to shoot people with your sniper rifle. Right now in the gameplay, you're seeing me spot guys and really just taking my first shot with the sniper rifle, and it is an awful lot of fun. But that's not all the game has to offer. That's just kind of one aspect of the game. There's not this huge story mode. There's not like a real big, like, operatic, epic story to walk through. Uh, and that's worrisome for me because usually that's exactly what I like out of single player games is really getting involved in this like big story and just immersing myself like I would a movie. This game doesn't really have that. It's kind of got a real flat story. You know, you're in World War One or World War Two. You're an American. You're fighting Nazis in Africa. And, you know, that's it. You're a sniper. Go kill some people. Here's some objectives. Here's these big big levels and even though it looks like it's open world it's not it's just got eight really large levels and the level design is the key to this game because what the level design allows you to do is really approach these levels any way that you want do you want to stay up high and spot spot the nazis and shoot them with your sniper rifle you can do that you just got to find you know cover and you got to find you know, machines that'll cover the noise of your sniper rifle so the Nazis don't come running right away with their machine guns. You can also go right down into the town. So you see right here, I'm kind of up on this cliff. But if I wanted to go down into those tents, I could go in guns blazing with my submachine gun and, you know, make it this big action game, almost like a Call of Duty or something like that. And that, to be honest, is a lot of fun. I've tried that too. And, you know, you can do that if you want to in this game. And that is really cool. You can also play as kind of this like uh, assassin with a uh, I'm sorry, a silenced pistol. And that is a lot of fun. So you kind of sneak between the rocks and between the tents and you have to avoid the fire so you don't get seen by the guards and your, your silenced pistol can only kill guys in one shot if you headshot them, but you gotta get pretty close if you're gonna do that. You can even stab guys uh, in the back of the neck with your knife if you get close enough. So. All that stuff makes the game kind of this free-form type of gameplay. You can really approach all these objectives any way that you want to, and that makes it really, really interesting. So even though you don't get really involved in the character development of the sniper or the story of World War II, what's really fun about it is just experimenting with the tools the game provides you in these huge levels that really give you all these different routes that you can kind of approach different objectives from. So you'll see in this little clip here, what I've decided to do, my objective is to actually kill a general who's riding in a half track, an armored vehicle. And the way I decide to approach this, instead of trying to snipe him out or trying to have, get into a battle with this armored vehicle, is I just planted some mines in the way of the road, uh, waited for him to run over him, and boom, you know, I win. You know, no big battle, no grand, uh, epic, flashy stuff. It's just, you know, he runs over the mine, he's dead, and I move on. And that's kind of what this game is. You know, you can approach these things from all sorts of different angles. Uh, the graphics, I think, are pretty nice. You know, it's a PlayStation 4 game, and it's also an, uh, on the 
PC, and I think it looks really, really beautiful. Uh, it runs at a very consistent frame rate, which is very easy to use the uh, gunplay with. And, uh, you know, it just looks it looks really fun. In these night levels, it really feels like night. In the daytime levels, you get these, like, sunbeams kind of obscuring your vision. And, you know, just this, like, gorgeous world to explore. And that makes it really compelling as well. But the thing that I really love about it the most is just being able to ob approach these objectives in any way I see, see fit. So the objective I'm going for right now is I got to blow up this artillery. And uh, instead of going in guns blazing like I would in Call of Duty or Halo, what I kind of did is I, I found this path that kind of wrapped around the uh, encampment a little bit. And I found this rooftop up here. And you see a guard up here. I just sneak up behind him, shoot him in the head. And then I spot all the enemies that are around the, the guard shack and the artillery. And I actually find some explosives near the artillery and just blow the whole thing up. So I never had to engage the enemy at all. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff is really fun. But if you want to go in guns blazing, that's perfectly okay. The game lets you do that. It's a perfectly valid way to play it. And that is really cool. It's just nice to have that open feeling and that open architecture to really kind of play the game like you will. Now, I found some bugs in the game, and that's a little bit disconcerting. Hopefully, that stuff gets patched out in the near future. Like, I found a ladder that I couldn't get back down, so I had to I had to actually reload my save, and that was a real pain in the ass and real disappointing. I've also found items on the ground that you should be able to pick up, but you can't. Uh, so, you know, I don't like to see buggy games get released, and it, it's really disappointing to see that kind of a bug in there. But I haven't seen any, like, game crashing bugs. Like, the game runs pretty smooth. It looks looks good so I haven't had any of those kind of problems but there are, you know there are bugs in the game and you will see them from time to time uh, the shooting mechanic is really fun I really enjoy the look and the flavor of the levels it just it looks really nice you know you're so used to these World War II shooters that are set in like this war-torn Germany or France or Poland and just everything's gray and brown and blown up this africa environment is just so beautiful and just creates this totally different kind of arena to explore all these skills in i'm really having a blast with it so what is my final conclusion like is this a good game should you have should you buy it and i think that's really up to the kind of personality you have what kind of player are you are you the kind of guy normally like me who just wants a really focused campaign with a big bombastic story or are you more the kind of player who likes to experiment with games kind of figure out the intricacies of games really kind of create your own fun almost like a minecraft kind of thing normally i fit into that first camp but i'm having an awful lot of fun just kind of like experimenting with this game or really kind of you know, play. I've even played levels a couple of times just trying to do things a little bit differently and it plays out. It almost feels like a totally different level because you see different parts of the map. You know, you get into fights with different people. You know, sometimes you don't get into a fight for the whole map. You just kind of waltz your way through it by sneaking from cover to cover. I think the game's an awful lot of fun, but it's not going to offer you that big Call of Duty, you know, huge experience with, you know, nukes going off and, you know, these like set piece moments. It's really like a... It's really a less focused game with more experimentation. And I gotta say, I'm really having a good time with it. So if, if that kind of thing looks interesting to you, if you also like to see bullets go through people's faces at a, a rapid pace, then this game is definitely for you and I suggest you check it out. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. I had a great time making the video. Hope you, hopefully you had a great time watching the video. If you did, hit that like button, it really helps me out. And hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.